You got to throw it in, yeah. like that. <laughs> What's up, GQ? Anthony Mackey, these are my essentials. My most important essential is my trusty iPhone 6 Plus. Everything since the 6 Plus has been a disaster, so I will always have this phone. I don't update, I don't do anything to it. It always works. Crack screen, I don't care. Take a little bit of packing tape, put over it, and start over. What is it specifically about the 6 Plus? Well, the 6 Plus is great because it was the first one that was the big phone. So it was obnoxiously bigger than all the other phones. So it has a lot of programming and data on it. And I had the big one, like the 64 mega gigawatts or whatever it was. And I put all this music on it. So I have stuff that I can't find anywhere else. You know, like Bush Babies. I got Gravity on there. Camp Low, first album on there. You can't find that stuff on uh, music streaming websites now. It's mine. Look. Come on, man. Buster Rhyme, extinction level event. You can't, I got stuff on here you cannot find. And it's quite a nice case. It's like snakeskin, but it's leather. I am a um, avid golf player. I play golf often, about two to three times a week. This is my trusty four iron. It's a great club, it's forged, gives you extra little pop, little distance. I love this club because if it's a par five, I can make the green in two, because this is about my 225, 230 club. If you're 300 off the tee, you go home. You either want to lay up or go for it. And when I feel real arrogant, is when I play golf. I go for it all the time. Would you say that you were the best golfer of all the Avengers? No, it's a toss up between Don Cheadle and Sam Jackson. Now, I'm not gonna say what the two of them have in common, other than being old black dudes and rich, but both of them are very good golfers. So that's how you know they are rich. I'm like somewhat not poor, so they're better golfers than me. You gotta throw it in, yeah, throw like it. that. <laughs> My next essential is the oil eliminator Kiehl's moisturizer because my uh, T-zone tends to get oily. So I have to eliminate the oil with my trusty Kiehl's oil eliminator. Growing up a little kid in New Orleans, you just used like Jergens, and you went from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, and that was your moisturizer game. But once you get older and like you start going to college and you get a girlfriend and they teach you like shampoo and conditioner is different than soap. Like you can't take the Dove and just go dub, 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 dub. You have to go Dove Dove, shampoo, conditioner, facial wash. It's four different things just to wash one person. So you can't go kills, 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 kills. You have to go oil eliminator kills. Then you have to go body kills. So they have many different products for many different things to serve you in many different ways. <laughs> That's word up. <laughs> These are my trusty Soul Cycle shorts. Yes, it's true. I like to listen to rhythmic music and lift weights while I ride bikes for long distances against young women. Yes. We're shooting Falcon Winter Soldier now in Atlanta. So you have a lot of different cycling places. So you have the cycling places in Buckhead where you have like a lot of young women with ponytails that are scream and very angry on their bikes or you can go to the cycling place in Decatur where there are a lot of young, angry people who yell and twerk on bikes. <laughs> or you can go to Midtown where it's just a bunch of nice people that ride bikes. No one's yelling, no one's throwing stuff, everyone's sweating. I started smoking cigars, I would say it was 2005. I had just finished a movie and I was starting to play golf and to look cool, somebody gave me a cigar and I actually really liked it. And uh, then I bought my first cigar, smoked that. Then I went to Cuba. I mean, I didn't, I mean, I went, but I didn't go. Like they can't, the federal government can't get me for that, right? Good. 
So I went to Cuba and um, I had some hand rolled cigars. Then I went to Nicaragua, had some cigars. Then the Dominican Republic had some cigars there. And I started learning the different characteristics of the different regions. So then I just fell in love with them. Nicaragua. Mm. It's the Pacific. So you have milder temperatures. You have more wind off the uh, Pacific. You have mountain ranges. So when the, the air mixes just right, you get a, a hardier leaf. You get thicker veins. So you get less of an earthier, harsh taste like on the East Coast, but you get more of a mild caramel smoothness on the West Coast. Nicaragua. Yes. Yes. Did you just pat him on the head? You just pat? Yes. Growing up in New Orleans, it's like saints are nothing. I always go to the games. Michael Thomas, greatest wide receiver in the league right now, shutting it down, strong arm steady. That's what we do. A man went to Florida, came back with 15 more pounds of muscle. Nasty. Come on, man. Come on. You can't mess with it. You can't, Kamara coming out the backfield, you can't mess with it. This is gonna be our year. The last two years have been shaky, you know? So we have, we put out petitions for the referees to uh, spend some time in New Orleans on vacation for free. But this is gonna be a good season. I think we need one more piece. We need like a, you know, like a Brandon Cooks. We need somebody to take the top off. We get somebody to take the top off. We back up to 45 points a game. Off top, all day. Zimmer's is a uh, neighborhood place in Gentilly, the Seven Ward. I grew up three blocks from there, and I've been going there since I was three years old. It's a neighborhood place. They catch fresh seafood every morning. They come and they make fresh sandwiches with the seafood. So what you do is get you a half shrimp po' boy, dressed with pickles, no cheese, dash of hot sauce. Get you one turkey neck, get you one we have this thing called the Delaware Punch. They sell it nowhere else on the world. It's not from Delaware. I went to Delaware to see, it's not there. It's Delaware Punch. Get that, go to the lakefront, put your tailgate down, sit in the back of your truck, and live your best life. I do that once a week. I might substitute the Delaware Punch with a house daiquiri. It just, it all depends on what the day look like. I'm an avid admirer of art, I feel like. You know, if you go through the annals of history, every moment in time is kind of outlined by the art that's created. So I, I love going to museums. It's the clearest form of expression. It can be daunting, it can be riveting, or it can be something that's so simple that it informs everything around you. Like every time I create a character for a movie, I pick a song and I pick a piece of art that kind of represents the social makeup of that character. So I tend to go to museums often and aquariums. You like aquariums, the three best aquariums in America, San Diego, Atlanta, and New Orleans. Hands down, hands down. Y'all, hold it down. Oh, man, keep the waves fresh all day. Cause I got like five different grains of hair on my head. So my man Tyreek has got my cut down to a science. Literally, if I'm within a one hour flight of Atlanta, I will fly to Atlanta for my dude to cut my hair. My man Tariq holds it down. And how long is he going to do your hair? Shh. How long is he? Cutting my hair, sir, thank you. I don't get my hair done. Um, it's been, <laughs> uh, man, I've been with Tariq for like 12, 13 years now. No, in the phase, fresh, always on deck. I'm Anthony Mackey. Thanks guys for checking out my essentials. I'll see you at Zimmer's. Shrimp po' boy, dressed, extra pickles, dash of hot sauce.